There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring three interesting discoveries, exploring the vast dark corners of the universe, its ancient galaxies, and the possibility for life on Mars. Dwarf galaxy Gliese 710 will arrive sooner than expected. Astronomers have known for a while now that Gliese 710 has been heading our way, but recent findings suggest that this may be sooner than they once thought. Approximately 60% of the Sun's mass, Gliese 710 is a dwarf star whose current trajectory will bring it within a fifth of a light year of our solar system. But there is still slightly over a million years before this happens. In 2016, European Space Agency astronomers calculated that Gliese 710 would come closest to Earth in 1.35 million years' time, at a distance of 0.25 light years. However, recent calculations have revised these numbers to a time frame of 1.29 million years and a much closer distance of just 0.07 light years. While Gliese 710 will not collide with Earth, and so our planet will be safe, concerns stem from the fact that it will encounter the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a huge expanse of comets which surround our Sun and up to a light year away from its surface. Therefore, while Gliese will not touch Earth or any of the other planets in our solar system directly, colliding with the Oort cloud could well disturb comets with catastrophic effects. Dislodged comets could then collide with any planet in our solar system or affect the Sun's gravitational pull. Scientists' latest reports state that they still doubt that Gliese 710 will have any significant gravitational effect on planets. However, the close approach may trigger a major comet shower which will affect the inner solar system. Either way, Gliese 710 is still at least a good million years away from us and so we will not be affected by its eventual approach. However, it would be interesting to know what does happen in the far future and how future generations cope with potential cosmic chaos. Elon Musk's first human colony on Mars would have to survive on a vegan diet. It could not be anything more like a movie. Elon Musk recently announced that future Martians will survive by growing their own food in solar-powered hydroponic glass dome farms. As a result, meat will not be on the menu, and these first people on Mars will have to survive on a completely vegan diet. Musk does say, at least for the moment, that it will likely only be the first 100 people on Mars who are limited to fully vegan cuisine owing simply to the extremely high levels of power which will be required to run and maintain the self-sustaining farms, combined with the obviously limited resources. For example, a study written by John Strickland from the National Space Society outlined the fact that you would halve the number of people domes could sustain if they also required meat and fish compared to a vegan diet. Similarly, it is also thought that if people did stick to a plant-only diet, a 0.3 square mile farm with four levels to it could feed a colony of approximately 5,000. However, Musk does not foresee glass domes being the story of life on Mars forever, and rather suggests them to be a form of temporary habitats for the first cohort of people to help develop more permanent infrastructure on the Red Planet. With Starship, the Mars rocket, looking highly likely to be ready for its first test orbit sometime this year, the possibility of life on Mars is becoming increasingly real. Therefore, preparing for other logistical details, such as how to then survive once you have reached Mars, will be the next groundbreaking research needed in the field to continue expanding our horizons, quite literally. Plans for life on Mars are wide and varied. China, United States, and the United Arab Emirates all have plans to succeed at cracking human travel to Mars by 2040 and the UAE has gone so far as to plan future civilization on the Red Planet. 
However, Musk is currently making headway and has the most aggressive plan, aiming to get a human crew to Mars by 2026 and an established thriving city by 2050. With international involvement creating even more competition and incentive to be the first to Mars and first to facilitate life on Mars too. James Webb Space Telescope Project will map half a million early galaxies. Founded in 2002, the Cosmic Evolution Survey, known as COSMOS, has been running alongside the Hubble Space Telescope to try and map the skies as widely as possible, especially with respect to mapping galaxies accurately. Now, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will run alongside COSMOS for its first year as a COSMOS Webb project. Current achievements in this sphere have been the use of Hubble to image areas of the sky as large as 10 moons wide, and then later being able to work across multiple wavelengths of light. Webb joins the endeavor and is expected to image a staggering half a million ancient galaxies in its first year alone, by observing the skies for 200 hours. Astronomers hope that by adding Webb to Cosmos, they will be able to extend their coverage of near and mid-infrared wavelengths and thus push the boundaries of how far away they are able to see. Scientists have also added that they hope to be able to examine the structure behind galactic formation on a larger scale than before, while also searching for the most ancient galaxies in our universe. The overall goal is to examine the evolution of the earliest stars in our universe, search for and map fully-fledged galaxies, and to gain deeper insight into the mystery that is dark matter. By mapping dark matter distribution in galaxies which have existed since close to the start of time, this is another exciting area with huge potential for groundbreaking discoveries to be made. At the moment, the James Webb Telescope still has some final tweaks to be made before it becomes fully operational and part of the Cosmos Webb exploration effort. Once its mirrors are adjusted appropriately and its instruments calibrated, there is no doubt that astronomers will be able to discover previously unknown galaxies. And, as a result, our current understanding of the night sky will continue to grow. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.